Excessive hip drop is a tricky issue for some race walkers. Part of the problem could be a misconception as to how the hip moves. While the hip has to move up and down, many race walkers falsely assume that it should be a more excessive vertical movement. For those walkers, correcting the problem is simply a matter of relearning the proper motion. Other walkers, however, suffer from a lack of, or imbalance of, strength and flexibility in the hips and core, which causes an excessive hip drop. Often when the hip drops, it also sways outward. While these two motions could occur independently, they are usually observed together. The hip sway compensates for the drop in the center of gravity that's caused by the hip drop. Here are a series of exercises and stretches to help correct the excessive hip drop and sway. A side effect of rotating your hips forward is that your feet land in a straight line. Therefore, when you perform the straight line walking drill, by literally walking along a straight line, your tendency to sway outward with your hip is reduced. Race walk along a straight line, such as a lane divider of a track. As you walk, focus on your hips, reaching forward as the advancing leg swings forward. The clamshell exercise strengthens your hip abductors to prevent your hip from dropping excessively. Lie on your side, position your legs so that they are in a clamshell position. Raise and lower the upper leg, maintaining the V. Repeat two to three sets of 20 reps with the same leg. Repeat with the other leg. For an added effort, place a light weight on the upper leg. The bridge with ball exercise strengthens the lower back muscles and upper hamstrings. This is a completely complementary exercise that helps, but is not specific to one hip rotation problem. Lie on your back, place your feet on an exercise ball. Place your hands at your side. While exhaling, raise your butt from the floor and hold for two to three seconds. While inhaling, lower your butt back to the floor. Repeat up to 20 times and do two sets. The elastic band leg strap exercise strengthens your hip abductors to help in preventing your hip from dropping excessively. Place an elastic band on your lower legs and stand in a partial squat position with your legs a shoulder's width apart. Slowly walk from side to side. Move a few steps in one direction and then a few steps back in the original direction. Take caution to make sure that each foot moves the same distance on each step. Repeat 10 to 20 times. For those with excessive hip drop, the side straight leg raise exercise strengthens the hip abductors without the need to go to the gym. Weak hip abductors are one reason the hip may drop excessively in race walking. This exercise can be done with or without a light ankle weight, start without weight, and gradually add light weights, building up to but never exceeding 10% of your body weight. Start by lying on your side with both legs extended out straight. Slowly raise the top leg while keeping it straight to about 45 degrees. Hold it there for a second and then gradually lower it. Repeat this exercise 20 times with one leg, then switch and repeat with the other leg. For those with excessive hip drop, the lower side straight leg raise exercise strengthens the hip abductors without the need to go to the gym. Weak hip abductors are one reason the hip may drop excessively in race walking. This exercise can be done with or without a light ankle weight, you should start without a weight and gradually add light weights, building up to but never exceeding 5% of your body weight. Start by lying on your side with the lower leg extended out straight and the upper leg bent in a triangular position. Slowly raise the lower leg, trying to keep it straight to about 15 degrees. Hold it there for a second and then gradually lower it. Repeat this exercise 20 times with one leg, then switch and repeat with the other leg. The hip flexor stretch is great for working on tight hip flexors, which inhibit proper forward hip rotation. Place your right knee on the ground with your right foot extended behind you. Place your left foot on the ground in front of you, making sure that the left knee stays behind the ankle. With a straight back, lunge forward and feel the stretch in your right hip flexor. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds and repeat two to three times on each side. For a more advanced stretch, Raise both your hands while keeping your back in the vertical position.
The piriformis stretch is great for stretching the muscle located within the glutes. Due to the excessive rotation of a race walker's stride, this muscle tends to tighten, which can lead to injury known as piriformis syndrome. Lie on your back, place your right foot on your left knee. Lift your left knee up so that your thigh is perpendicular with the ground. Grab your leg under the knee and pull the leg towards you. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds. Repeat two to three times with each leg. Tight hip flexors inhibit proper forward hip rotation. Therefore, perform the advanced hip stretch by kneeling on the ground, preferably soft ground, and place your left leg in front of the body while bending at the knee. Lower your torso, using your hands for support. Slide the right leg back and lower your torso all the way down so that your forearms are supporting your body weight. Feel the stretch across your right hip flexor and left piriformis. Hold for 20 to 30 seconds and repeat two to three times for each side. 